This is the Maximal Multi Divi, first published in Sweden by Vilken Vilkensen in the 19 teens. Mine was printed in 1951. Thanks to Patrick for telling me about it. It's a book, about 400 pages. It has nice tabs on the pages for quick navigation. And the pages, ho ho ho! This thing is a multiplication table with complete products up to 999 times 99. Any three digit number times any two digit number. And that's just the first half. There comes a time in every kid's life that they need to learn their multiplication table. For me, this was in fourth grade, and I remember it because I was bad at it. I was always interested in mathematical ideas, but I didn't have much patience for giant lists of context-free calculations. I liked learning how to do it and knowing how to do it, but come on, don't make me do it a hundred times. You're killing me, teach! But some people like doing it a hundred times. Vilken Vilkinson did it about 300,000 times. This was a man with a lot of stories, really a classic entrepreneur. He was born in the small town of Falun in Sweden, but destined for greatness. His dad died when he was in high school, and young Vilken somehow abruptly found Jesus. He met a missionary recruiter, and soon enough he moved to Chicago as a student at the Moody Bible Institute, where he was studying to become a missionary to China. But Vilken lost his faith just as quickly as he'd found it after some inappropriate advances from one of his teachers. So Vilken went looking for his next move. He worked on a farm in Milwaukee for about a year and then briefly became an importer of Japanese bicycles back to Sweden. And here's something I never heard of before. Vilken went back to his hometown and he paid the money back to the church who donated to his abandoned missionary cause. Integrity, huh? Vilken stayed in Fallen for the rest of his life and started up a kind of club for Fallen enthusiast folks that still exist today. This story about his life comes from an article I read in their newsletter, Gamla Something. But Vilken's biggest project was, of course, the Multi Divi. Back in the 19 teens, calculation was just starting to become a big business. Adding machines had been around for a while, but they weren't really great for multiplication. A typical old-time adding machine really only adds. The comptometer type machine was pretty good at multiplying, but it looks like this. For trained bank secretaries, this is the right tool for the job, but it's not really the move for old Sven down at the fish market. A pinwheel machine like this one would be the typical tool, but these were expensive and still kind of hard to use without some training. Vilken imagined a multiplication tool that would be cheap to make, require no maintenance, and would easily be usable by anybody with no effort. And how do you do math with no effort? You look up the answers. And so, the son of Vilken created the greatest multiplication table ever. Well, maybe. More on that later. Anyway, the multi divi includes all products of three digits times two digits. So to find like 823 times 15, I turn to the page that has the big 823 on the top, and then you look down here, you got all the products. You look up 15, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hey, that's the combination on my... As usual back then, Vilkin's playing some games with the decimal points. See, there's no row to multiply by 30. You would just use the 3 and then add a 0 on the end yourself. It's a cheap way to save some space on the page. These ordinary products of 3 by 2 digits, these are on the right-hand page each time. And on the left side, you get three digit by three digit products, but only for multiples of five. So you can't do 823 times 473, but I can do 823 times 175. Hey, you want to follow along? I just scanned the whole book and I put it on the Internet Archive. Check out the links down there. Unfortunately, my scan isn't too great. I wasn't always able to get all the way down to the spine, and the columns and the page tabs mess up my edge finding software. But you get the idea. So that's the multi. What about the divi? Well, to divide, you just look it up kind of the other way around. Like if I wanted to do 6486 divided by 138, I go to the 138 page, and then I look down there for an answer of 6486. And there it is. 138 times 47 is 6486, and that means 6486 divided by 138 is 47. 
There are a few bells and whistles at the end here. After the page with 999, you get three different tables for doing compound interest and amortizations. We got squares, cubes, square roots, cube roots, logs, reciprocals, circumference and areas of circles, some more percentage stuff. These are all cute, but come on, these are pretty standard in any old book of tables. And it looks like that's it. But actually, we're only halfway through the book. What's in the other half? You see, Vilken actually made four different models of the multi-divi. I have the original advertising insert. I scanned that one too, you know what I'm saying? The standard multi-divi has everything I just showed you. They call this the tables 999 times 99. The super multi-divi also has the left-hand table. Then you got the triplex multi-divi. That has all of that other stuff plus another section with... 9995 times 99 tables. And the maximal multi divi also has 9995 by 995 tables. And which one do I have? Oh, ho, ho, you know I had to get the maximal. And this is why it looks like the book just ends in the middle before starting up again. Up until this point, it's exactly the same as the super multi divi. And then they just paste it in another 200 pages after that. The whole thing is modular with sections that you can just swap out while they were making the book. You can tell the middle page is sort of extra thick here and there's no page numbers in the second half. It's meant to be swapped in and out. And hey, tucked there in the back is the multi-divi mobile and the super mobile. They got some fractions on there. So this whole book is assembled like a machine with customizable parts. Even the way it's presented in the marketing, it's all presented like don't even think of this as a book. It's a calculating instrument. Just like with a machine, I got the original instructions, but not like as part of the book. It has a separate instruction sheet that's just pasted into the front cover. The book itself doesn't say anything. There's no introduction, no nothing. Check it out, the title page, and then bam, you're drowning in digits. It's all to make the book even more modular. This way Vilken never had to reprint it for different languages, because the book is all just numbers, no words at all. So if you want to sell it somewhere else in a different translation, you just swap out the inserts. And this is some pretty classic early 20th century marketing materials. Mundane testimonials from real customers, together with grandiose absurdities from the inventor. The greatest invention ever produced for everyday multiplication and division. This is certainly not true, even in 1911. A pinwheel machine would be far more useful in general. The obvious benefit of the multi-divi is that it's cheap and easy to use. And it is pretty fast, too. Hey, let's have a race. I'll try the multi-divi against my Walter WSR160. This Walter is from the 1960s, but it works the same as machines that would have been available even in the 1800s. 40194. 40194. Well, I guess the multi divi really is faster than machines. Maybe this really is the greatest invention ever produced. I don't know. There were very similar books available at the time. The mathematician August Leopold Krell published a multiplication book in 1897. The legendary calculating tables, giving the products of every two numbers from 1 to 1,000. I don't have a copy of this one, but it predates the multi-divi by about 14 years, and it's a lot simpler. It's just every three-digit by three-digit product. That's about a million individual products, which is more than twice as much as the multi-divi has. Look, in the Krell, I can do 867 times 309. Vilken don't do that. I assume that both of these books have at least a few errors. I tried to check the answers at scale, but my OCR game isn't quite good enough. I checked a few pages and no mistakes that I could find. Apparently Vilken offered a prize of 1,000 krona to anyone who could find a mistake, so he was pretty confident. I haven't been able to find anything written about how he did the calculations. I doubt he did it all by hand. A pinwheel machine pretty easily will generate these columns. Let's make a bunch of products of 429. Maybe Vilken just copied the answers from Krell's book, but I kind of doubt that. Krell used a fancier format, which is very different from Vilken's. And if the multi-divi was just a ripoff of the Krell, they would probably look more similar than they do. I kind of like the multi-divi. I love these tabs on the page ends. It's like my mom's old dictionary. It really does make it more usable. And I like the tall, skinny shape. It just feels good to flip through the pages. You know, using these old machines gives you some feeling of connection with the people who made them. 
Just to know that all this calculation is somehow being accomplished inside this metal box, it makes it feel something. Like when I use the curta here, I'm doing the calculating because I'm the one turning the crank, but the calculation is accomplished by the sophisticated mechanism inside, which was designed by a man, Kurt. When I set the machine in motion, I accomplished the calculation, but only because Kurt set it all up for me. But this thing, Vilken Vilkinson didn't just set it up for me to calculate. He actually did all the calculations ahead of time. Like when I multiply with the multi-divi, it's not just as if Vilken was doing the calculation for me. He actually really did do it. He did it for me. For us all.